What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, hopefully you can hear me. I'm sitting outside and there's traffic out there, so I'm hoping the sound is okay. Um, uh, what I'm talking to you guys about today is training splits, rep ranges, and my experience and what I've done to transform my body and um, what rep ranges I've used and what training splits I've used and what training techniques that I've used. Um, the first four to five months of my transformation, I started out uh, doing three sets of 12. That was the, the magic number, three sets of 12 for everything. And I transformed my body on that and transformed quickly along with proper diet and hit. So I did the three sets of 12 and it was super basic, just squat, lunge, deadlift, uh, you know, super, super basic stuff that now if I would have gone back today, I would have done things a lot differently, but I was learning and I, um, I didn't know a lot of things back then, so I knew the basics. And so that's what I did for the first four or five, six months was just basics. I trained twice, to, uh, all muscle groups twice a week. Um, so I did chest twice a week. I was, I was training with my husband, so I was literally training like a man. And um, that's how I recommend everyone going in when first training. Train hard. I trained shoulders twice, back twice. I would train shoulders and back on the same day, twice a week. I would do legs twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays, Tuesdays and Fridays. Wednesdays and Saturdays, you know what I mean? And then trust and chest and triceps and biceps would be together, I believe. Um, so everything got trained twice, and my body did fine. I personally do not believe that much in overtraining. Your body was meant, we were fucking cavemen. We were meant to, to handle a lot. I lifted heavy. I lifted as heavy as I could, and back then my form was awful, and I just lift, I'm not saying to do that, but um, just lifting heavy transformed my body really quickly. It's, I always pushed my body to the max, and um, I didn't do a lot of things right, but what I did do was I, I, I do know that heavy weight does transform your body, and you aren't gonna make as much progress and as quick of progress if you're always lifting light with a lot of reps. I'm sorry, that's just my experience, and I've seen other people, they join these group classes, and they lift these little weights, and they do 100 reps, and they always look the same. If you want results, lift heavy. Your body's never going to transform without pushing it and without those heavy weights. So moving on, um, after the first uh, five, six months of my transformation, I started learning a lot more. I was researching night and day, and I started playing around with different rep ranges and different training splits. Okay, sorry. It was too noisy. I had to move inside. Currently, I'm training legs three times a week, back and shoulders twice a week. Sometimes I get to my triceps. I never do my biceps anymore because honestly, you guys, these things are just out of control. They're like freaks of nature. I don't even know. I haven't trained them in like a year. So I don't train my biceps, but I do try and get to my triceps like at least once a week, like three or four exercises. Um, so I, I know now I'm to the point where I know what my body needs. Um, when you're first starting out though, I do recommend training biceps, triceps. If you're a girl and you have a boob job, I do not recommend training chest. I stopped training chest like a year ago because um, I should have not ever trained it because I had my boobs when I started. But um, yeah, so I don't recommend training chest or else you're gonna have to get, pay money to get your boobs redone again and I'm probably gonna have to and it sucks and it's a pain in the ass and why go through that? So triceps, biceps, and I'll do a boob video soon too, promise. Triceps, biceps, and uh, shoulders, back, legs. You all wanna get those when you're first starting out twice a week. Then you can, once you have developed the muscles and the areas that you want, then you can kinda like me, pick and choose what you wanna do when you wanna do it kinda thing. Um, yeah, so uh, later on, six months out into my transformation, like I was saying, I added in uh, more sets. I started doing four to five sets of things. I started uh, playing around with rep ranges. I would do eight to 12, 12 to 15, 10 to 12. Uh, I would say that usually I do eight to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 15 reps of each exercise, depending on what my goal is. If I'm trying to build muscle, eight to 10, 10 to 12 range. If I'm going for like cardio-ish, I do like 15 to 25 if I'm just doing going for reps that day. And I always switch it up, you guys. One day of the week, I'll do a heavy leg day, then a lighter leg day, same with the shoulders, heavy shoulder day, lighter shoulder day, same with back. So it's really good to, that's called periodiz periodization, and it's really good to do that with your workouts um, because you can't always go heavy, 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 heavy. You gotta deload sometimes. You gotta give your nervous system a break. So 
that is that. Um, uh, that's the rep range that I like. My, uh, my favorite rep range is 10 to 12, I'm not gonna lie. I also do different kind of training techniques. Uh, I do a lot of circuit training and supersets now to burn calories while I'm lift, lifting weights. Cause right now I'm bulking, I'm not doing any cardio, so I use my weight training as my cardio. So supersetting and circuit training really keeps that heart rate up. You don't really stop. You keep going, going, going and I lift moderately heavy while doing that. So I'm building muscle at the same time as getting my cardio in. So I do practice a lot of that, but then I just have certain days where I just, I take one minute rests, one to two minute rest breaks, and I just concentrate on doing that one exercise and lifting heavy. So um, sometimes earlier in the week I'll lift heavy, and then the later part of the week I'll do the supersets and the circuits to keep the heart rate up and lift a little less heavy. Um, it's always good to switch it up. Always shock your body. Your body That's what your body wants. It wants to be challenged. It wants to be shocked. That's how we grow. Uh, also, I also incorporate a lot of drop sets, you guys. I'm a big fan of drop sets. I just love them. Um, it really gets the, uh, your strength up. It really helps build that muscle. Um, so for instance, um, I may put up a glossary too on this and tell you guys the definitions of some of the things I'm talking about. But drop set, you would say you're performing 20 reps. You're gonna do 10 heavy, and then I'll drop it to 10 with a lighter weight to, to finish out the set. Um, I do things like that. I get creative with it. I'll do, sometimes I'll do seven, 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 or 10, 10, 10 of drop sets. I'll start like, uh, say with kettlebell squats or whatever. I mean, kettlebell upright rows, whatever. I'll do heavy, you know, boom, 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 drop it, the weight down, boom, 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 go again, you know? So that really, and it burns your muscles out. It keeps that time under tension with your muscles. And also the pyramid, uh, pyramid um, sets, which like I, sometimes I start out at 15, then I go down to do 12 reps, then I do 10, then eight, then I work my way back up, or sometimes I just end at eight. I'm always switching it up, you guys. Um, those pyramid sets help build strength and helps you to like lift heavier, and that's what we want. And I don't know if I even went off on a tangent here, but I've learned a lot, and I've, had, I've learned from my mistakes, and what I'm really doing, um, you know, with with my YouTube channel and everything and my programs is that I'm telling you guys, I'm, you guys are gonna learn from my mistakes also. For those of you that requested that video, I hope that helped. And um, if I left anything out, just ask in the comments and I will get to you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching um, my stomach roll over my pants this whole video. Fit girls have rolls too, you know what I'm saying? It just ha it's skin. It's called skin. It happens. Here, let me redeem myself. Wait. Wait. There we go. There we go! <sighs> oh, I hope you guys enjoy this. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.